Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Sally Lemis. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. An emotional day up in Marty, as many pay respects to those who didn't make it home. Also tonight, talks on impeachment arises up in Congress. And Governor Torres addresses a concern on housing. In sports, Little, Little League Baseball sets their 2021 opening day. Stay with us, these stories and more are next. There you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba. Off a day to the Wami and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Monday, May 31st, 2021. Many people gathered at the Veterans Cemetery in Marpi to pay respect to all of the Sinemai's fallen heroes. Here is a sight and sounds by KSPN's photojournalist, Jing Borden, that captured this very solemn day. Remember on the 
Our fallen heroes have shaped the future of our islands by giving us an opportunity to make this place better for our children and our grandchildren. This is why every year we come here to the sacred ground to remember all that they have done for us. Our islands and our country are stronger and safer because of them. No, it's an opportunity for us to um, uh, give thanks to the folks who uh, uh, passed away and gave their lives in service to our nation. And even for the folks, um, if they passed after service, um, our veterans who uh, are part of those uh, 22 um, soldiers every day who take their own lives. So being able to uh, let them know that their service uh, will never be uh, uh, forgotten. Our families here uh, have loved ones buried here laid to rest in this hollow ground that there's nothing we could compare any you know the emotions that they go through and they went through and my heart goes out to them and and as I said we, we honor we're here to honor them and thank them the younger girl Agnes Up on Capitol Hill, the chairwoman handling governmental operations questions whether the governor should be impeached. Representative Selena Roberta Babauta opens discussion on impeaching Governor Ralph Torres after being informed that certain documents relating to his expenses are repeatedly being destroyed. Government documents and properties are continuously being destroyed in an attempt perhaps to hide things or conceal evidence. 
These documents are reports from last year's investigation into the governor's travel expenses and other expenditures. Representative Tina Sablon submitted those reports to House Speaker Edmund Villagomez during the House session on Friday. Public expenditures of Governor Ralph de Leon Guerrero Torres, violations of law, areas of abuse, and recommendations for oversight and reform, which was prepared by the members of the House Minority in the 21st Northern Marianas Commonwealth Legislature and submitted on January 6, 2021. I respectfully request the inclusion of this report as an official communication in the records of the 22nd House of Representatives. Sablon then requested House Speaker to refer the alleged tampered documents to the House Standing Committee on Judicial and Governmental Operations for further review. That is when Chairwoman Babauta explains that Section 8, Article 2 of the Sinai Constitution gives the legislature power to initiate impeachment proceedings. It is my purpose to determine whether the governor's actions warrant impeachment by the House and removal by the Senate. Those judgments are constitutionally reserved for and entrusted to the legislative branch. Violations of statutes, embezzlement, unjust enrichment, and obstruction of justice by any citizen and by whatever title they or office they hold are profoundly serious matters. A bill has been presented in the House of Representatives that would remove taxpayer funding housing for the governor, lieutenant governor, senate president, and house speaker. Representative Richard Lazama pre-filed a bill on Friday that would take away free housing for several government officials. The bill proposed to repeal a law since 1980 that provides government housing for the governor, lieutenant governor, house speaker, and senate president. Currently, all the housings are either abandoned or is transformed into something else. And instead, public funds are used to pay for utilities of the top officials at their private residences. According to the author of the bill, there is no legal basis for this, especially since it's taxpayer funded. Here is what Governor Torres has to say on the legislation. I wish I could just stay where the governor's uh, house is uh, provided by constitution. I mean, there's a reason why, um, you know, government uh, governors and the lieutenant governors provided uh, housings for security and other reasons. Um, I'll be happy to, to abide whatever that is. In efforts to keep the indigenous language intact, several members of the community have created a pledge. And with a pledge comes a new logo. Shane Villanueva explains how the design of the Hoffaday Tiro Pledge logo came about. What we did was we, we encompassed both um, by including um, our 32 celestial stars of navigation, with the largest stars being the north, south, east, and west. Also, they'll be depicted here on the inside. Uh, we also have our, our Sackman here and then our Laddie Stone, um, along with the Mar. And then we also have all the islands that are represented over there. So we, we really worked hard to try to get it simple, um, straightforward, but also very meaningful. So everything in here uh, pertains to our heritage and our culture. Villanueva states when he and his team were asked to come up with a design, it didn't take that long. It took us, you know, a couple of renditions uh, in regards to the color and a couple of other things that we did. But overall, um, yeah, it took us not too long uh, because we utilized some of our current uh, things that we utilize as well. The locals will be placed around the island in hotels, local businesses, and even some government buildings. And it's a pledge that also our tourists will be able to understand and know uh, what it is uh, to, to come to Saipan, to keep Saipan clean and to enjoy the sights of Saipan. And it's a, it's a commitment for our local businesses to also recommit to our Chamorro and our Carolinian cultures. The artist of the Hoffaday Tiro Pledge logo is Bradley Santos. Coming up, we announce the winner of our very last trivia question. Stay tuned.
Today, CNMI, did you know that car crashes are the leading cause of death for children ages 1 to 13? In order to keep your children safe during a car crash, make sure you select the right type of car seat for their age and size. A rear-facing car seat should be used from birth to 12 months or up to 3 years old. Forward-facing car seats are for children from 1 to 3 or up to 7 years old. Booster seats are for children from 4 to 7 or up to 12 years old. Seat belts are for children 8 to 12 years old or older. For a seat belt to fit properly, the lap belt must lie snugly across the upper thighs, not the stomach. The shoulder belt should lie snugly across the shoulder and chest and not across the neck or face. Do not move your child to the next car seat level until he or she reaches the top height and weight limit allowed by your car seat's manufacturer. Remember, your children are the most precious cargo when driving. Keep us safe and buckle us in. We depend on you. Thank you. A meal replacement smoothie is a great way to keep your fitness goals on track during 2021. And they taste great. It's fast and easy. The May smoothie of the month is pineapple carrot cake. It includes banana, granola, raisins, cinnamon, carrots, and pineapple with 21 and a half grams of protein. It's good for your eyes and good for your waistline. Check out the Shake Cafe Gold's Gym, Garibay. The Tan Su Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. Do you have the flexibility to work out between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m.? The Gold's Gym we call this off-peak and it can save you money. Short-term daytime memberships on sale now, just $59 per month, and gets you access to the biggest and cleanest fitness center on island. Get yourself healthy and strong. Check out Gold's Gym today. We're in a race whether we know it or not. Build our new normal. Enough of Mali to be out. Let us vaccinate, see you tonight. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. What is the Sinemai State Flower and Bird? Jose Munia answered our Sinemai tourism trivia question first and correctly. The Marianas fruit dove and the plumeria are correct. Jose wins a gift certificate from the MVA. Congratulations. Tonight at midnight, our Bob Codine will enter a new decade still firing on all cylinders. Our Chris Nelson has more. One of the things that's pretty awesome about the Mariana Islands is Bob Coldine. Bob started his sports TV broadcasting career in December of 1993 and quickly put his stamp 
and his elbows on the sports desk. Hello, baseball fans. This is Bob Poldeen with the profile of Saipan Major League. Poldeen brings local sports to life. If it's happening, he's probably there, camera in tow, with an agile mind, already thinking about the best way to tell the story with good video and a few choice words. You know, I've been to every big game at this field since it was built in 1982, and I can tell you there's one game that stands above all else. It was so great I wrote a poem about it. He consistently delivers laughter, drama, and wonder to the nightly news. And most importantly, he's created a library of work that simply would not exist without him. Bob is much more than a sportscaster. He's an institution and a living treasure in our community. It's a KSBN <laughs> satellite. Many people like to say, did you get that, Bob? After big plays. This week, we'd just like to say thanks, Bob, and happy birthday to a boy from Florida who became the man of the Marianas. How old is Bob? Well, 20 years ago, he was 50, and former AVP pro Doug Morrow was angling for Bob's job. First of all, 50 years old is something to really think about. You know, you start thinking about retirement, who's going to take your place, can it be filled properly? You know, I'd really just hope Bob takes care of himself. 50 years old, you know, get some Grecian formula, 44, you know, for your hair. And uh, just remember, a wise man told me that French fries are not a vegetable. Bob, happy birthday. Sorry, Doug, that position is still filled. Don't call us, we'll call you. When I'm eating dinner tonight, I got fried parrot fish, avocado salad, steamed rice with red ginger, and I'm feeling fine, thanks to the boys from Texas. Thank you. All right, coming up with the KSPN2 Sports Report. No driver's license? No problem for these youngsters. They have a license for fun. Entertainment lets you do TV your way with Docomo Pacific D TV Plus. Watch your favorite live and local channels, stream movies and shows on TV, on your phone, and on your tablet, right from your Docomo Pacific Wi Fi. No more wires, no more cable boxes, now with the best price. Do TV your way with Docomo Pacific D TV Plus. Did you know CNMI's coral reefs and seagrass ecosystems are worth about $115 million a year? Coral reefs alone are valued over $100 million a year. All the more reason these precious ecosystems must continue to be protected. Coral reefs are important to the people of the CNMI because they provide traditional and subsistence uses, production of commercial food products, recreational opportunities for a healthy tourist economy, and physical protection from storms. Do not break or collect coral to take home with you. We need them. Corals are living animals and it takes decades to create reef structures. Planting trees, grass, and shrubs on bare soil helps prevent sediment from entering our oceans. Trees also help fight climate change. Use a rain barrel and collect water from roofs, yards, and paved surfaces. You can help keep storm water on your property and pollutants out of waterways by building a rain garden. The ocean floor isn't a dance floor. Stepping on corals can break them. Maintain buoyancy when snorkeling or diving. Nutrients from excess fertilizer increases algae growth that blocks sunlight to corals. Coral reefs need clean, clear water to survive. Help keep our beaches litter-free. Always take out your own trash and a little bit more. Anchor in sandy areas away from coral and seagrass or use mooring buoys so the anchor and chain do not drag on nearby corals. 
reduce, reuse, rethink, repair, refuse, recycle. Do not feed the fish. Do not take or step on coral. Do not collect shells. Do not fish. Help with local tree planting community events, local beach cleanups, and get involved in protecting your watershed. Participate in training or education programs that focus on reef ecology. You can make a difference. Please contact Mina to get involved in community conservation. Tonight's sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Buenas sports fans. Buenos sports fans, good news and bad news for youth baseball. No doubt, they've been thrown curveballs over the past four years. At least now, some kids will get a pitch they can hit. Typhoon Sotolor and U2 plus the pandemic, Little League Baseball has taken a pitch to the head the last few seasons. But there will be a 2021 season for the minor and major divisions, according to Saipan Little League President Mike Borja. We're going to open on the 19th of June, June 19th. So uh, that's the opening date for the literary, but we're going to be having only minor league and, and major division. Also, the district tournament this year is going to be in Roda. It's going to be in August. So Tinian has their team ready. Uh, Roda, they're playing with, uh, with their uh, league. So uh, once again, uh, let's bring back uh, the sports, especially the kids, so you know we can have some sense of normalcy. Unfortunately, the junior and senior leagues are going to miss yet another season due to the Massa closing Palacios baseball field. Uh, junior league and senior league so unfortunate that you know we have to uh, to uh, to uh, wait until next year because we are trying to uh, prioritize and finish up the and co Palacios movement. So uh, preparation for the 2022 uh, micro game. Ryan Borja did something that I never did in 70 years. Well, you say that's no big deal. Lots of people have done things you never tried. Yeah, but Ryan's only three years old. Sunday at the Cowtown Racetrack in Murphy, very much a family affair. Dads, moms, brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, aunties, everyone coming out to support their clan. Teresa Borja, she's one of the top riders in her class, and her family is one of those who come out in full force and support, including their newest member. Ryan Bora, who just turned three earlier this month, his mother addresses safety issues. Are you concerned about his safety? A lot of two-year-olds, three-year-olds, they can't even ride a bike, but this kid is riding on a, in a race. As a mother, yes, I am concerned about his safety, but... Practice makes perfect, Bob. I'm very confident <laughs> that he has it. You know, he's... He's always been interested in the sport since he was one year old. He was always watching on YouTube, you know, motocross, 
all these stuff and now that he's on his squad, you know, since he was a, a two-year-old, he's been doing pretty good. In this Pee Wee One race, Conan Ayakapo takes first place. You know, he just started racing earlier this year. The most important thing about it is when it doesn't matter about the start, you, it matters about the track. And then when I passed the guy that was first place, that's how I, I got him on the jump because he was going to slow. Do you feel like you're improving as you're, the more races you have on this track? Do you feel like you can keep getting faster and faster? Yes. What does it take to get faster? Uh, just keep on practicing hard, and have a good race, and have fun. Francisca Yumel and Jackie Okaya are other first-year racers. How long have you been riding? Ever since Camp Pacific, but I never raced. Today's your first races? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling inside? Anxiety, nervousness? Anticipation, trepidation, what are your feelings? 60% anxiety. This is my first race that I've got on a bike last year, but I've never been, um, I've never really practiced, and so two months ago was basically my... Do you have any butterflies in your stomach now? Yeah, I'm very nervous, but excited. And meet the Z Riders, five-year-old Betley and six-year-old Zane. Now that it's all over, how you feel inside? Were you ever worried out there? Were you ever scared or anything? Were you always confident? Mm, yes. Why do you race? I race good. Why do you do it? Because I'm a Z rider. And you're a Z rider. Here's the wind up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! Buy one, get one free for the off-road adventure at Marianas Trekking. Come ride our side-by-sides at our best price ever and experience a great 90-minute trail ride. Rain or shine, hopefully rain. Book now at Marianas Trekking, Saturdays and Sundays by reservation. Call 323-8735 or book at marianastrekking.com. Today's high was 88, the low 79, humidity 84%. Tomorrow mostly cloudy, some scattered showers coming out of the southeast with winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. High 89, low 79, season 6 to 8 feet, kind of choppy out there. Sunrise at 5.45 Tuesday, a low tide at 7.06, high tide 11.08. And then sunset on June the 1st shall be 6.44. That is your Memorial Day. New sports and weather, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you watch back here on Wednesday night. Good evening, everyone.